No, the paint at the office looks ridiculous. It looks like a child did it. I told you I wanted to represent innovation and happiness, what a company stands for. I never said all yellow. Isn't this what I'm paying you for? Hey, you know what, I don't have time for this. I'm gonna find someone else, someone that's more professional. Goodbye. You know, the color yellow could do wonders for your employees, thinking, performing in innovative ways. Excuse me? Yeah, but still a muted yellow color paint. Or yellow accent pieces, rather than painting an entire room yellow. And why would you know this? I, I love art. That's what brought me here. Well then, obviously, I shouldn't be taking your advice. I mean, I'm an art student. I'm trying to pay my way through college. And right now, this is all I can afford. Mm. Art doesn't seem like a very promising career. I think my parents would say the same if they were alive. But they also believed in every decision I made. Sorry to hear you lost them. Yeah, they always said, it's better to fail at doing something you like than to succeed at something you don't. You got me there. It's a very valid point. Yeah, I love colors, you know. And everyone can benefit from the exposure of the right color. Did you know your favorite dessert could taste better or worse depending on the color of dish it's served in? No, I never knew that. Yeah, and color could bring on physiological changes. The mood, your creativity, in fact, even the intensity of the color matters. High intensity stimulates, low intensity can soothe. Oh, that's a great insight, but I still don't know what to do with all that information. Well, it could help with your office, you know. Yeah, I could. And I'm looking to make some changes at the office. I work for Miller Company. Oh, I've heard of the Miller Company. I heard the CEO just passed and it's like a real mess over there. You know quite a bit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult the place you work at. It's all right. I'm not offended. I mean, their work is amazing. I just think it's going to be tough to carry on the legacy of Jack Miller. Yeah, well, I hope the new CEO is up for the challenge. I guess it's going to be a son. Doesn't sound too promising. I don't? What? I'm just curious. What about me doesn't seem so promising? Oh my god, are you the son of Jack Miller? You catch on quick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come across so rude. No, no, it's fine. It was quite entertaining. I'm Alexa. Alexa Brown. Nice to meet you, Alexa. Alexa, if you want, you can come up with a color scheme for our office. And then we can see if you're as good as you say you are. B really? Thank you! I I'll give it my best. I would not expect anything less. I'll get you in touch with my assistant, and he'll catch you up to date. Thank you, Mr. Brennan. See you soon, Alexa. Wow. This is amazing, Alexa. You really do have some talent. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you like it. Like it? I love it. This is great. And we're going to implement this as soon as possible. I wanted to work with the company's slogan, rising to your IT challenges. But the company's so much more than that. I see it as a place people love working at. More like doing what you love, loving what you do. That is amazing. You just <laughs> made Miller Corporation sound that much more approachable. I think we've got some work on updating our slogan. <laughs> Thank you. I had a great time, however short it was. You know what, Alexa? I like how your mind works. If you want to work here full time as my assistant, I mean, I know you have your art dreams, but I have a position open, and I'd love to have an innovative mind like yours at the company. Yes, I would love that. Can I start today? Yes. <laughs> Alexa and Brennan started working together and developed a close relationship. Miller Industries started growing even more with a very strong leadership and Brennan often ran all his ideas with Alexa who supported him and often gave her honest opinion. I can't believe Shakshuka is your favorite too. I've barely even met people that have heard of it. I know, that's quite a coincidence. And this place has the best. I'm starving. Oh my gosh, Alexa. Our stock is up 35% since the merger of Johnson Industries. Wow, that's amazing! We worked really hard. Yeah, but to be honest, you deserve all the credit. You're the one that chose Johnson Industries over Spacey Corporation. And that's what I like about you. You're never too scared to tell me the truth on any topic. Well, I've read a lot about Johnson's brothers since Wong. My dad worked for them. They follow very strict, cruelty-free practices. And that's what I want from Miller Corporation, to be built on integrity and strong moral values. I agree. 
and Stacy Corporation and all them lawsuits against child labor, worse business. In fact, alienating them might actually teach them a lesson. I just can't watch people use innocent little children for their benefit. You made a really good professional and ethical decision. Honestly, I would overlook that. That's the crazy part. It feels like you make better decisions for me than I make for myself. Thank you, Brennan, for believing in me and giving me a chance to show my worth. No, thank you. That's why we're here today, to celebrate your great insight. And I know you like art so much. That's why I'm promoting you to create a head of Miller Corporation. Well, really? This means so much. Well, you deserved it. I know if my dad was here right now, he'd be really proud of me. Ever since he passed away and I became CEO, I'm not going to lie, I've been lonely and scared at times, but that's not the case anymore. Because I have a great teammate like you. I feel like I have everything. But there's still one thing missing. Oh, really? What? Well, you know, I want a family one day. A wife, kids, Miller Juniors. <laughs> that's so? God, Brennan, it's so nice to see you. Wow, well, it's been forever. Yes, two years. You you look as good as ever. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe that was inappropriate. Am I interrupting a date? Um. Well, well I. No. Um. I'm Alexa. I work with Brennan. I mean, I work for Brennan. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, here celebrating a work thing. At our cafe, of course. Your favorite. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Isn't he just the best guy to work with? Yes. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Wow, Brennan, I know the last time we met wasn't the best. It's just so good to see you. There are so many things that I regret and take back. Oh, don't worry about it. You did what's best for both of us back then. Yeah, I've come a long way since. I realized the importance of having a family, kids, and all that. That's great. I'm really happy for you, and I wish the best. Thank you. You're always so kind. See you around, maybe. Keep in touch. You have my number. Yeah, sure. Bye. She's, she's very pretty. Yeah, oh yeah, she is. I guess you guys dated? I mean, she said it? Yeah, we did, but it didn't end well. We just wanted different things. She came from a really influential family, but when we were dating, she was in the Forbes top 40 while being under 40. But at the end of it, we just wanted different things in life. Well, it looks like she wants what you want now. Yeah, but that story is long gone. I found something else, something much more like home. Brennan, that's what I wanted to I like say. To look, the truth is, I want someone that's like a best friend, who understands me. Someone that I can share deep conversations with. And when we have a family, we work as a team. You know, she'll be teaching them, I don't know, art. And I'll be teaching them basic life skills. Like tying your shoelaces? <laughs> I'm still working on that one. <laughs> but you know, I just want to be around. For my family, just like my old man was. And I feel like I see that. I feel like I see that with you. Brennan, that's what I wanted to say. I don't, I don't think I'm the person for it. Why not? You're perfect. And you're kind, you're beautiful and thoughtful. You'd be the perfect partner and parent. Honestly, just the perfect everything. I. I can't give you all that. I mean, I don't want all that. I'm sorry, that sounded probably kind of weird. I can get awkward from time to time. I didn't really mean to bring up that whole marriage stuff, but maybe we could just date. You know, you can get to know me and I get to know you better. Um, but that's what I'm talking about. I don't want all this, relationships and all that. I just started my career, you know. I want to make it big and party and buy brands and Enjoy life. I was homeless after all. And I get that. And I would never want to stop you from getting after your dreams. I know, but I think I would. I don't see our future the same way. I don't want anything too serious. Oh, I'm sorry I brought this all up. That was uh, wrong of me to assume you felt the same way as I did. It's OK. We could just pretend like none of this ever happened. Yeah, that'd be good. Because I don't want anything to be weird between you and I at work. And, you know, I don't want to lose such a valuable employee like you. Um, don't worry. You won't. Yeah, I'll have the report submitted tomorrow. All right, perfect. Thank you. Sorry for the rush. I just want to be ready for my presentation. Mm.
Brenda and Baby, I have a nice little surprise for you. Hi, Charlotte. Thank you for waiting. Of course, sweetie. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Charlotte. It's crazy. The last time I saw you and Brennan, I thought you guys were on a date. And now? And now? Well, Brennan didn't tell you? You guys are seeing each other? Brennan, you didn't tell her? You know, I don't like mixing work with pleasure. We're not only seeing each other, we're engaged. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, wow. He's just the best. I feel so lucky. Yes, that is really nice. Um, I'm so happy for both of you. You should definitely come for our wedding. Seeing you and Brennan at the cafe rekindled my feelings. I thought I lost them all over again. Oh, of course. I'm glad I helped. And the surprise, babe, I got your favorite band booked at the wedding. And your favorite chef is cooking shishuka at the wedding. Oh my gosh, you're the best. That's so sweet. Thanks. I love you, babe. I wanted the best for you. Thanks, baby. Wow, that's really something, Brennan. You're the best, and you deserve the best. The whole office would say so. Wow, two women flattering me. I must have woke up on the right side of bed or something. So anyway, I gotta get going. I have some friends I gotta go meet for drinks, but. Bye Alexa, take a couple extra shots for me. <laughs> wow, did you see that? See what? She's so into you. <coughs> no, she's not. Oh Brennan, you're so cute. You can't tell when a girl is head over heels for you. Her body explains it all. She's not, trust me. Of course she is. Besides, you're a billionaire and very good looking if I do say so myself. She's not that type. She's not into that stuff. How do you know? Because, well, my friend Pat Patrick, uh, he was into her. And when he asked her out, she said no because she just wants to enjoy life, she said. Patrick? You never mentioned him before. Uh, he's, yeah, you don't know him. Well, has Patrick ever found out why? Maybe she's insecure. Maybe she has something that's holding her back. There could be so many reasons. Look at us, for example. Yeah, I know. Like, two years ago, you rejected me when I got you the wrong ring. Yeah, your grandmother's ring. Ew, how could I even show my friends that? My CEO boyfriend proposed with his grandma's ugly ancient rock? Yeah, well, that ancient ugly rock has been passed generation to generation. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to our family. Yeah, I have dreams too, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, well, when I was getting your dream ring, you were cheating on me. Well, what did you expect? You said you were cheating on me before that. Oh, come on, I was young and bored. Charlotte, we're the same age. Well, can you get over it? I already have my bridezilla phase going on, and being supportive wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I know, I need to stop thinking about the past and think about our future. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I did book your favorite band and food for the wedding. I know, you're the sweetest. Also, this Patrick guy, I do think it's better that Alexa did turn him down for whatever reasons. Why do you say that? If he's a billionaire and good looking, he could get anyone, even someone like me. I mean, why would a billionaire be with her? Didn't you say that she was homeless when you met her? Ew. Come on, Charlotte. She doesn't even have parents. That doesn't make it any better. Come on, let's go celebrate now. Do these uh, Spacey Corporation numbers look at you? Let me see. Yeah, the numbers look great. But if you could add a chart for our shareholders so they can better understand it, that'd be good. Okay. So I'll see you at uh, Samantha's baby shower. You know what? I'm not gonna be able to make it. What? Why? The whole office is gonna be there. My stomach's upset. You should have let me know. You know I would have let you go home early. It just started hurting right now. Um, I think I'm just gonna go home and rest. Oh, sure. All right, well, take care. Bye. this. Nancy. Hey Alexa. I'm, I'm fine. I just don't want to go. It's not that I'm not happy for her. It's just, if I'm there, I'll be crying and I'll ruin her night. Yes, yes. But therapy still can't change the fact that I can't have kids. And it's still hard to face and love myself. It's hard, I'm trying. Thank you, Nance. I love you. Maybe she's insecure. Maybe she has something that's holding her back. There could be so many reasons. Well, you know, I want a family one day. A wife, kids, Miller Juniors. <laughs> It's 
been a while since we've had a meal here together. I know, we used to always come here. I miss those days. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm engaged. I probably should have never said that. Yeah, obviously. Hey, Alexa. I need to ask you something. Because I know if I don't, I'm going to regret it. What is it? Well, did you ever have feelings for me? You're a nice guy. I've always had an enormous respect for you. That's not what I'm asking. In the beginning when we worked together, we had this connection that I have never felt before. Did you feel that? I'm not the right girl for you. Charlotte is. I'm not asking you if you're the right girl. I'm asking, did you ever see yourself with me? Well, maybe. Maybe I did. But that's not important now. Then why would you not say so? I... I can't say it's too hard. All right, well, whatever it is, I can handle it. No one makes me feel like how you do. And if you don't tell me, I'm just I'm not going to get over it. Brennan, you want a perfect life. And I can't give that to you. You gave me everything I have right now. You believed in me. I can't do that to you. I have to let you be happy. Well, what would make me happy is being with you. Brennan, I can't do that to you. Why? Did I do something? Did I do something wrong? Uh, Brennan, I... I can't have kids. Yeah, I know. What? How? I overheard you talking yesterday. Well, I don't know what to say. I just need to know if you truly didn't like me or if it was something else. Because if it's anything else, it doesn't matter. It does. Trust me. You don't see it now, but... I've had my heart broken before. And I can't do this again. Like you said, I make better decisions for yourself than you do. That doesn't apply here. These are my feelings. Only I know how I feel. Brennan, when you see a future, you see it with a family. And the fact that I can't give you that, that will always hurt me and you. I could never have you resent me. You're the best. You deserve the best. When I see my future, I see it with you. You're my family. You don't need to have kids. You can adopt them. It doesn't matter. That's really the important thing is that I'm with you. But Brennan, being with Charlotte could be the perfect life. She's a nice girl. She loves you. That might be so, but she doesn't make me feel how you do. And I've always had these feelings for you. Oh, so that's why you guys got together like two months after we ended? Ended? We were never even dating. You were the only one that ended it before it could even start. And you never even told me why. So I could never actually decide how I felt about the whole situation. I thought I was doing right by you. That's up for me to decide. I wanted you then and I want you now. But you proposed to Charlotte. That's got to mean something. I didn't propose. She thought I proposed. I got down on one knee. So I was tying my shoes. A life skill I still haven't <laughs> learned. And I was at the restaurant, everybody started cheering and chanting, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. And so I said I lost the ring. Oh, Brennan, that sounds like you. Brennan, sweet Brennan. I really do feel bad for Charlotte. But I'd be doing her a favor by leaving. We just wouldn't work out. Plus, she doesn't even like Shake Shuka. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I hope you remember to love me this way every day. I won't. What? I'll love you more and more every day. <laughs> Just like the way since we met. Brennan told Charlotte the truth the same day. She hit him with her shoe and lit his car on fire. Brennan thought that it was worth it for a lifetime with Alexa. By a miracle, Alexa did end up having a son. And they adopted two more girls. They lived happily ever after. Love is patient and kind. Love does not demand its own way. When you love someone, you love them in sickness and health. And you're ready to be there for them no matter what. Hey. Hey, hey, mister. Look, I don't have change right now. No, you dropped something. Oh. Wow. Okay, thank you. 
No problem. Wow, that's really kind of you, considering your circumstances. It's no big deal. It was the right thing to do. You know what? Your honesty earns you $100. No, you no, no thank you, sir. It's okay. No, I'm serious. You can keep it. Um, okay. Thanks a lot. You must be rich to be giving away $100 just like that. Well, I guess I do all right. My name is Eric Stevens. Eric Stevens? As in the CEO of Merkshire? Wow, I'm surprised. You've heard about me and my company. Of course. It's only the seventh biggest company in the world by market capitalization. Wow, you know quite a lot. Your company was in the news a lot because of the recent merger with AOL and the tumbling share prices. Yeah, that wasn't a good decision. But we're working to fix those mistakes. AOL did have questionable quality and performance. You're continuing to surprise me. Oh, it's nothing. People throw a lot of newspapers around here, and I like reading. Wow, well, that's a great habit that I unfortunately never developed. The more things you read, the more things you will know. The more you learn, the more places you will go. Well, that's a great quote. It's by Dr. Seuss. My mom used to read a lot to me. The only book I really read is Facebook. <laughs> you're funny. You know, you're a lot more than meets the eye. Thank you. How about you come by my house tomorrow? Um, what? Don't worry, you can trust me. I'll get you in touch with my assistant, John, and he'll clean you up and help you out. What? Why would you do that? Let's, let's say you're very interesting and very pretty. Underneath all that, I would like to have someone like you around in my life. Uh, really? But how do you know you could trust me? You just gave back a billionaire a hundred dollars. I owe you at least this much. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you, Miss... Amelia. I'll see you tomorrow, Amelia. Can you believe it? This isn't even his main house. It's just for a couple of his staff. Wow, 4,500 square foot for just a couple of staff? I'd be happy with 100 square foot to myself. Wow, you actually got the square footage perfect. You must be really into real estate. My dad was, he passed away. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. That's okay, it was a long time ago. I'm Amelia, you must be John. You got that right too. Mr. Stevens wanted me to show you around and he even sent you these flowers. Wow, that's... Sweet, thanks, John. I don't know what he saw in me, but this is pretty cool. I think I have an idea. You're beautiful, smart, and you even seem humble. <coughs> You're not too bad yourself. Oh, thanks, Amelia. You can call me Amy. Great. Ready to go inside? Okay, sure. Wow, what's all this? Isn't Mr. Stevens joining us? He actually asked me to tell you that you can call him Eric. Oh, wow. So, where's Eric? Eric will join us this evening. He's at an important business meeting now. Ah, the life of a CEO. He's a great CEO and an even better mentor. I was actually in a lot of debt before he saw potential in me and gave me a job. Oh, wow. He's kind, too. I guess he's just perfect. Some people are. So, is this all for me? Yes. He actually has a business dinner this evening and was wondering if you could join him. Really? What am I going to do in between all these rich people? Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And for you, we have a couple outfits and other accessories. That is, if you agree. I guess. That's sweet. Great. You can get ready here. A makeup artist and a stylist will be here shortly. Mr. Stevens will pick you up at 7 p.m. Oh, that's fancy. A makeup artist. I did a little something myself. You didn't. Notice? Oh, no, not that you need it or anything, just for your convenience. And if you need anything, my number's on the card here. Well, I'll be off. Thanks, John. Oh, and one important thing. Yes? This is your room now. What? You can stay here, at least until you find something else. A smart girl like yourself, I'm sure that won't take you long. But until then, use this house as you want. Wow. Thanks again, John. No, thank Mr. Stevens. Wow, you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. I knew there was so much more beneath all that homeless look you had going on. 
I'm so grateful for you, Mr. Stevens. I mean, Eric. Thank you, Amelia. I can't wait to show you to these old men. I hope you have fun tonight. I hope we have fun tonight. Uh, just one thing, Amelia. Yes? Please try not to talk too much about books and, you know, the professional world. These are old rich men. They don't really like mm, smart women. Oh, oh, I totally understand. Yeah, you know, we don't want to hurt their egos. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Great, all right, let's go. I had a lot of fun last night. Thank you for inviting me. And again, thank you so much for this place to stay. It's nothing. With your charm and kindness, you should be given the world. You're too nice, Prince Eric. Haha, <laughs> 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 you're bringing it out of me. But I gotta go to a meeting now, baby. John will show you around the office while I'm gone. Okay, great. Don't wanna keep you from work. Bye, see you soon. So here we are. Mr. Stevens asked me to get you acquainted with the staff. This building is amazing. Yeah, it is. I was actually involved in the architecture. We just finished it last month. Oh, you're an architect. Well, I was. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, Mr. Stevens, he really trusted me. He let me do the layout myself. He really trusted my vision. Eric, he's so sweet. I read a lot about him. His dad left him a lot of wealth. And yet, He's so humble. I don't know how he does it, working as hard as he does. Well, it's nice to hear about him from someone who knows him personally. Yeah, you'll get to know him soon. Looking forward to it. Hey, Amy, I've been meaning to ask you, how did you get to where you were? You seem so intelligent. You know, some people just end up homeless because of the high cost of housing and other unfortunate circumstances. And what was it with you? Love. My ex invested all of my personal savings into the stock market. I tried to be there for him, believe in him, so I trusted him blindly. And then the money disappeared and so did he. And I've been using whatever I make to go to university, living on the street just to be able to pay off the student loan. I graduated last month. I'm really sorry to hear that happened to you, but I'm really glad to hear you graduated. I have been told Eric, and I don't want him to know. I have a feeling he'll try and pay off my loan. Yeah, that's Eric. He's the nicest man there is. Lucky I bumped into him. <laughs> Shall we? Sure. Eric and Amelia start dating and develop a close relationship. They seem very happy with each other. You know, these past few months with you, I've been amazing. For me too. I'm sorry I'm not around a lot. Yeah, I get it. I'm no competition for your Vegas trips. Amy, you know it's for work. Vegas has a lot of tax benefits, so our HQ is out there. Of course, I understand. You're a busy man. Thanks, baby. And you know, you're not like the kind of guys who ignore their women when they're gone. You're even more romantic. You always send me the cutest text to wake up to every morning, and the time you sent me my favorite chocolate. Yes, your favorite chocolate. Come on, you don't remember? It was just a month ago. Mr. Goodbar? Of course. I'll buy the whole good bar company, but this year isn't selling. <laughs> what can I say? Being away makes me miss you even more. Distance makes the heart grow fonder, they say. I hope you don't get too lonely. I guess it's good to have John around for help. He won't stop praising you. We talk about you a lot. He really worships you. Oh yeah, he, he's a great guy. He helped with my divorce. Why would any woman ever leave you? Uh, well, I had to leave her. If it's okay, can I ask why? Of course. She got a little fat. What? Yeah, I mean, she really let herself go. That's no reason to leave someone, Eric. There I go saying stupid things again. What I mean is, Jennifer, my ex-wife, got obese to the point of sickness. I got her the best doctors, the best health care, and she just binged away. I just didn't know what to do. I missed her for so long, but I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. She reached 400 pounds, and I just, I still feel bad about it. 
I really loved her. It's... it's okay. I understand. Thank you, Amy. I feel so guilty about it. I should have been there for her. I'm happy you're here for me. That's okay, Eric. Um, you know what? I have some great news for you to cheer you up. What is it? I got offered a job. What? Yes, as a project manager at Google for 150K a year. What? Yes, isn't it amazing? That's ridiculous. What? Why on earth would you want to go work when you have me? Well, I just don't want to burden you all the time. Amy, I make 150K a week. You can't possibly be a burden on me. Plus, they probably knew you as my girlfriend and offered the job. No, I never mentioned it. I'm just kidding, but you know, you don't need it. I thought it'd be good for me. Good for my identity. Amy, you already have an identity. You're the prettiest arm candy in my whole network. My coworkers are jealous of me. You don't need this job. Plus, it'll stress you out and age you. Let me handle all this. I guess you're right. Exactly. It's too embarrassing that Eric Stevens' girlfriend works a regular job. I'm always here to take care of you, baby. Thanks. You're too cute. Okay, but I gotta go back in for a meeting now. I'll ask John to take you to the salon. You have too much free time to be worrying about these jobs and all about that. Okay, great. I'll get my nails done then, I guess. Yes, go enjoy. Ready to go? Yay, another day at the salon. You don't seem too happy. What's wrong? Sorry, I'm being mean to you. That's okay, but if something's wrong, you can tell me about it. I just had to turn down this job offer for a project manager at Google. Why? That's your dream. You've told me that a million times. Uh, you've told Eric that a million times. He tells you what we text about? Um, sometimes he's quite smitten by you. Well, anyway, he told me I don't need the job, and I have him, and it's embarrassing, and, you know, he has a point. I mean, he's, he's right. You can always go to the nail salon and read. You have all the time you can to pursue any other hobbies. He told me that you love to read. Here, I actually just finished this. You can have it. Maybe you can read it at the nail salon. Thanks, John. Always saving the day. Hi, John. Oh, hi, Jennifer. It's good to see you. It's been so long. Always a pleasure to see you, John. I've had one of my Amazon packages shipped here by mistake. I've just come to collect it. Jennifer? As in Eric's ex-wife? Oh, John, who is this? Have you met a nice, sweet lady? Hi, I'm Amelia. Sorry, this is awkward. I'm Eric's girlfriend. Oh, makes sense. You, you look great. You've lost all the weight. Lost the weight? I've gained some. But yeah, it's time to lose some for the summer. I mean, but you look fabulous. Maybe you should give me some weight loss tips. I mean, losing what? More than 200 pounds is no joke. 200 pounds? Who lost 200 pounds? You, I guess. I mean, Eric told me all about it, how you got a little sorry, but obese. Oh God, that Eric. I've put on a few pounds because of the miscarriage and the depression. And he said that embarrassed him. Like his gambling addiction didn't embarrass me. Has he stopped going to Vegas casinos finally? Hey, hey, Jen, we actually haven't seen your package, but if someone's gotten it, I'll have it delivered to your house. Thanks, John. Happy to help, bye now. What on earth was that all about? Um, denial, denial. She's just, she's never accepted her medical problems. You know how it is. No, I don't. And what about the gambling? She's just making that up. Gold diggers. I don't know, John. Come on, Amy. It's like you said, once you make the first denial, you just have to commit to it. She never accepted her illness. I guess. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Wait a second. What? I texted that to Eric. What do you mean? That line about denial. Yeah, um, he told me. How could he tell you the exact line? You know, we talk a lot. So he tells you literally everything I say? Yeah, I mean, we're good friends too, you know? No, wait, how do you know everything I like? Every time, you read my mind. You know me better, better than Eric does. How? I'm just good at reading people. That's why he hired me. You know, Eric, he's the best. Enough. 
enough about Eric. Amy, you need to calm down. Jennifer is crazy. It's been you. Me? Yes, you who's been texting me. You who's been sending me my favorite chocolates. That's why you know so much about me. No, you're not making sense. You both have tricked me this whole time. Amelia, please listen to me. Mr. Stevens really loves you. Enough, enough of your lies, John. I thought, I thought that you were my friend. I, I was, I mean, I am. Friends don't lie. Eric, Eric never cared about me. He never even bothered to ask how I ended up on the street. You, you did. That's why Eric is always sweeter on text, because it's you. I always thought something was off, thought he was just busy, but that's why he's in Vegas, because he's always gambling. Well, and the affairs. What? Shh. I didn't, I didn't say that. Look, I'm losing my mind too. Save it, John. You, you did this all for money. Tricked me so I could just be your boss's little pet. Look, Amy, I can explain. Let Eric know I'm done with him and you. I'm taking that job over, and I'll be just fine. Don't ever contact Amy, me again. Amy, Amy, wait. Don't touch me or I'll scream. Thanks for reaching out to me. It's been tough lately, just personally. Been going through a lot. It's okay. You could have always called if you ever needed help. I just don't want to burden anyone with my problems. What are friends for? I just can't believe that they did this to me. What it sounds like is that this guy, John, was probably in love with you. What? No way. He lied to me every day. No, Amy. He remembered everything about you. Men, they don't do that, even if they're paid to. No, it can't be. He's a liar. Maybe he had his reasons. From all that you told me about him, he doesn't sound like he would just do it all for money. Have you ever even wondered why? I blocked him. I never want to see or hear either of them ever again. Maybe forgiveness will free you and give you peace. I guess. I guess you're right. My dad always told me that. Just talk to him, hear him out. It'll give you closure. Okay, maybe I will. All right, Amy, I gotta go. All right, Jasmine, see you. Bye, thanks for talking to me. I'm sorry. I can never forgive myself. Please just hear me out, only once. I'm sorry. Amy, please. Starbucks today, 5 p.m. Amy, you came. Thank you for showing up. Are you John this time, or are you speaking for Eric? Look, I was wrong. I'll say it a thousand times. I broke your trust. I know. I know this all. But why? Just for money? Remember when I told you Eric gave me an opportunity? Well, that wasn't exactly true. The thing is, I did design that building, but he took the plans and used them without paying me. I really needed that money to pay for my mother's cancer treatment. He told me if I did some personal tasks for him, he'd give me money. I've been doing it, I need to make ends meet. Eric fooled you too? I'm sorry about that. And about your mom. It's okay, she's getting better. I'm glad to hear. I've been wrong, Amy, and stupid. The last month I started my own architecture firm and I've been working on it. I did it because of what you said. You're motivated, bright-eyed, confident self. Whenever I need to do something, I think, what would Amy do? And it always works. I still can't believe you lied to me for so long. Amy, it wasn't even the money. I thought I was being kind with you for letting you be with Eric. Seriously? He's a billionaire. I can't compete with private jets and yachts. I never cared about all that. And I, I know that now, but I always thought you deserved the world. Eric always said that, but now I know that it was you. I'm sorry, and I'll say it my whole life. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. How do I know you're not lying to me now? Because 
I remember everything about you. How you love ice cream before your food, and that you love the smell of coffee in the morning, and how the sound of the ocean always makes you think of your father. I've read every book you've ever mentioned to me. You can ask me. John, I, I don't know what to say. I didn't know my life was lacking something until I met you. I fell in love with you the moment I met you, and I've loved you ever since. John, I, I love you too. Eric made numerous attempts to win back Amelia. He even tried to propose to her for marriage, but she turned him down. Eric did not like hard work and lost much of his inherited wealth by gambling it. John and Amelia got married a few months later. Unlike Eric, who discouraged Amelia from having gold and forcing her opinions, John encouraged her. They supported each other, and with their sincerity, hard work, and skills, they slowly and steadily brought their company value to a billion dollars. They forgave Eric in their hearts because regardless of the circumstances, they met through him. John and Amelia now have two kids and a dog. Remember to love all, trust a few, do wrong to none, and forgive others for your own peace. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? No, miss, miss, your, what your car. What the hell, you're trying to slash my tires? I'm calling the police. Jenna, why can't my car? Miss, 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 calm down. What a crazy person. Do you stay there and wait and don't even try to run. Hi, yeah, this is an emergency. No, ma'am, uh, listen, listen. Oh, listen, listen. No. no, it's it's not my car. It's it's a rental. My Lambo's in, in the shop. It's a temporary replacement. You gotta help me, he's trying to hurt me. Ma'am, is this your car? What, who are you? Hey, are you with him? Listen, woman. There was a crazy amount of blue smoke coming from your exhaust. What? Yeah, we both saw it, but I'm not a car expert. I guess he is. So he was fixing it while I was looking for the owner. Oh. Hello, um, is everything okay, man? Sorry, officer. Um, I think I think this call is a mistake. Yeah, sorry. No, I got it. Thank you. So you were just fixing it? Yeah. I was making sure nothing dangerous happened. It's fixed now, it was just because of worn out valve seals. Yeah. Jeez, miss. At least speak to the guy before jumping to conclusions. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I gotta go. Got other business to take care of. Thank you, bye. Sorry again. I heard you on the phone. If this is a replacement, then you should go and have a talk with that car rental. It's illegal for them to give you this car to drive. Yeah, I will. Um, Sorry, can, can you just wait right here for a second? I'm just back home. So yeah, you were right. They checked in my car details and it was on there. It's fun, it's fixed now, but maybe you take it back and get another one. I'm so sorry, I can't believe I judged you so quickly. It's okay, it happens a lot, especially with people like me. Well, sure, I'm so sorry I hit you with my first. I are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, you, you're, you're being sick. You can't be too careful. Well, like, I always have me buy you some coffee. No, no thanks. It's fine. I'll be off. Well, thank you so much. I'm, I'm sorry again. No problem, miss. Hey, hey, wait. Sorry, I didn't get your name. Lucas. Lucas, I'm Mia. Nice name. Thanks. Um, look, I have an interesting opportunity for you, Will. For me? Yeah. How can I possibly help you? Well, first of all, you already just did like a lot. I know I'd be charged like an arm and a leg for this job, especially if they knew who I was. And who would that be? Um, so my dad owns Neo Industries. Neo, the telecom company? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's huge. Are you guys developing a new automobile line? Yeah, um, wow, that's very hidden information. Not many people know about that. I guess my free time allows me to be updated. Well, with your knowledge, how would you like to work for us? Really? Me? Yeah. I'm sure you could find better. I was in the supermarket for maybe like 10 minutes and you fixed my car in less than that, so I find that very impressive and valuable. Yes, it is. Here's my card. Mia Brown, daughter of Benjamin Brown. Exactly. Wow, thanks, miss. You could just call me again. Give me a call. You'll probably reach my assistant, but she'll get you through to me. Sure. Sounds excellent. Bye, Lucas. Lucas started working for Mia's company, Neo Industries, in their new automobile division, Motorium, 
Motorium soared under Mia and her discovery of the talent Lucas had. Lucas started off as a repair technician, but with his knowledge and learning curiosity, he was promoted to assistant manager. Thank you for all that you've done for Motorium. It's been a pleasure. Well, this meeting here is to inform you that your boss and our very esteemed employee, Henry, is leaving next month. Wait, really? Yeah. He's retiring. Oh God, I really, I really like the guy. He's been a great mentor. Yeah, he liked you too. He had a lot of good things to say about you. Really? I thought he hated me. He had his issues, which is what I wanted to talk to you about today. Am I being fired? Quite the contrary, actually. What do you mean? Henry told me how good you are at following company guidelines on safety and operational budget and like a lot more. Wow, thanks. I, I owe it to him for guiding me. Now, he did say that his issues with you are my punctuality. Oh, okay. So y you know. Yes, he's brought it up to me in the past. Yeah, he said that you've been missing on some really critical days, but when you're present, everything runs smoothly. He's put in a strong word for you to be promoted to general manager, but only if you can work on the hours set by the companies, which are the same as everyone else's. Wow, me general manager? Yeah, I'm offering you the position if you can offer your sincerity and commitment. Look. I try, it's just that I have some weaknesses. Lucas, now I'm speaking as a representative of the company. You mean the owner? Yeah. You and I have known each other for so long now. You get along with everyone. You're funny, and I, um, everyone enjoys your presence at the company, and you're really smart. Thanks, Mia. I think you have so much potential to be so much more, and I don't even know how you ended up. Right like where you were when we first met. You mean homeless? Yeah, I've asked you several times. It's a personal matter. I just have a lot of bad habits I don't really want to talk about. Well, anyway, you've come so far and you're honestly heading so much further. I think you just have to get rid of any negativity or these like bad habits that are holding you back. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for believing in me, Mia. It means a lot coming from you. Of course. So, do you want the job? Here. Ali. Hi, my love. Thank you. You know I never miss a call with you. All right, all right. I know. Fine, I'll be there. Yes, yes, I'll be on time. I won't want to miss it. Bye. Um, I didn't know that you had a girlfriend. Oh, it's, it's not a girlfriend, it's just... A fling? I guess you could call it that. Oh. I guess I'm surprised. Why? I don't know. I I took you for more of the romantic type, not like the flame type. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know how you are at work. I've seen you with the women. You're such a gentleman. No, I, I didn't know you noticed. Yeah, work gets around. Apparently a lot of women have a crush on you. Really? I, I had no idea. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's, I guess they're just bored and like anyone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, anyways, think about the offer. Thank you again. Okay, now I and I get my car repaired. See how I work tomorrow. Car troubles again? <laughs> yeah, it's my vintage obsession, you know. Just my luck probably since I met you. <laughs> <laughs> how about I look at it? Come on, Lucas, you don't have to do that. You're the GM of Neo Industries now. You have better things to do. You know what they say, there's always one more thing to learn. Transmission fluid dipstick. You're right, you'll, you'll have to take it to a mechanic to check the levels. Mia? Mia? Hmm. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, um, something about a mechanic? Yeah, I won't be able to do it at this time. Oh, that's fine. Thanks for checking it. Sure, well, take care. I, I gotta head out. Where are you going? Oh, well, it's 5 p.m. It's after work hours. I got somewhere to be. Oh, is it that date you're, you're flying here? Um, no. Someone else. Oh, you have a lot of options. Huh? Oh, nothing. I'm off, I'm off too. I, I have other plans. I just remembered. Okay. See you. Bye. Whatever. 
Hey, Andrea. Hi, babe. I was just about to call you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Want to go catch Aquaman 2 together? I heard Amber Heard is amazing in it. Yeah, sure. But I called you for something more important. What is it? It's a weird thing. I'm all here for weird. I guess I started liking someone. Oh, you have? Yeah, and it's like really unfamiliar. I, I guess I'm just used to being asked out. I, I haven't had a crush since like high school. Wow, that's a fun feeling. Yeah, and you won't believe who it is. Luca. Yeah, how'd you guess? It's so obvious, Mia. Really? You bring him up in so many conversations. Anything we talk about, I could be looking at, I don't know, cactus plants, and you'd say that's his favorite. Really? I've never noticed. That's the surprising part. Why didn't you say anything? I guess I was waiting for him to ask you out or something. Oh, so you think that he likes me too? Of course he does. Who wouldn't like you? You're Mia Brown. Not only are you the next in line CEO of Mio Industries, you're also smart, hot, and independent. Thanks. I guess my best friend thinking I'm smart and hot is what matters. I'm sure he thinks it too. Yeah, but he's never indicated it. I, I think he has a girlfriend or like fling or something. Really? Yeah, he was talking to someone yesterday, but then when I asked, he like shrugged it off, so. Maybe it's not relevant. Just a side chick or someone he doesn't take seriously. I don't know, I saw him more like a one woman kind of guy. Well, the only way to really know is to ask. Ask? Ask what? Well, obviously if he hasn't asked you yet, it's cause he is too shy. You're indirectly his boss and you're, you know, much above him in a way. I'm not, I, I was like born with more privileges, but he's so smart. Yeah, but he's probably just nervous and thinks you're out of his league. You think so? Yeah, for sure. I'd be. So what do you think I should do? I think you should ask him out on a date. We go for coffee all the time. We talk about work. We meet for lunch breaks every once in a while too. No, like a real date. Like ask him to meet you on a weekend after work. So he knows it's not just a work thing. At least he won't be a deer in the headlights then. Wow, isn't that like too forward? It's the 21st century woman. You like a guy. You make it known. You're right. So I'm going to text him to meet on Saturday. Yeah, sounds a little flitty. Guys like that. Uh, okay, I'll take your advice. Yes, woman. Don't waste time on the phone now. Go do it. Okay, bye. Hey, wanna go grab dinner with me on Saturday? <coughs> sure, looks like I'm free. What place were you thinking? High and mighty, 7 p.m. Sounds good. Sound a little flitty. I would invite you over instead, but I'm not sure I would be able to keep my hands to myself. Okay then, Thai food it is. See you at seven. Thanks for agreeing to come to the state. Oh, it's it's a date? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, this usually isn't where I'd usually go on a date. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's kind of fancy. I usually like going to a sports bar, get a few drinks in. Oh, um, yeah, there's there's no alcohol at this place. That sucks. We could have just met up at my place, had a few drinks, been you and I, without so many eyes on us. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is too romantic for my taste. We can leave if you want. No, it's okay, now that we're here. Plus, I like to I like to gamble when I drink. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize you liked Gambling. This doesn't count as a work-related confession. That's why I miss work sometimes. Oh, that's the that's the bad habit you were talking about. I yeah, believe. I'm trying to break off it. I think I will. I believe you. Thank you, Mia. Well, Lucas, I've been meaning to tell you that you're into me. I am. Um... It's okay. Most girls are. I have some kind of charm on them. That's why I think this dinner is a waste of time. I guess I didn't know that you knew. Of course I know. I could tell by your flirtatious laugh around me. Mia, I have a girlfriend, Olivia. Now, as long as she doesn't find out, we can keep the thing going. Wait, but I, th I thought she wasn't a girlfriend. She's my girlfriend right now. I'm not being serious, but I just want to be honest with you. Gee, thanks. But that isn't going to stop us from getting together. Sorry, Lucas, I'm not really like that. I really just thought you were single. I am. I'm here, aren't I? Look, Lucas, I really liked you. I thought you were sweet and nice, um, but uh, I guess I'm starting to think that I was wrong. Hey, no need to get upset. It's just... The thing is, I'd break up with Ollie, but she's more my type. You're too strong-headed, more like a leader, like one of those strong feminists. First of all, nothing's wrong with being a feminist, and 
Also, like, what do you even mean by feminist? Look, you need one of those man-child kind of guys. You know, the ones in Hollywood. I'm not like that. I like cars. I like to work on them. I know I look good. And I don't like girls bossing me around. Okay, uh, I didn't see the side of you earlier. You probably like George. George. You remember the guy that was there when we first met? We kept in touch. He's an idiot. The kind that just wants one woman. Listen to everything they say. These are the kind of guys that get cheated on. What? That's like, so not true. In fact, here he is. I told him I'd meet him here around eight, but showing up an hour early, so typical. Probably never getting laid. Hey, Lucas. Oh. Hey. Oh, hey, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, I, I was actually just leaving. I thought you said 7 p.m. I said eight, dude. You're being such a block. No, you're, um, you're not, George. Uh, thanks for coming. I'll see you at work, Lucas. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off so strong. I don't want you to get me wrong. No, in fact, um, now I've gotten you completely right. No, no, I, I think we can be friends. I just didn't mean anything by it. It's okay, I'm, I'm not gonna hold it against you. See you later. Bye, George. Bye, Mia. It was nice seeing you after so long. Yeah, same here, bye. Women, right? Yeah, looks like you blew it. Oh, I thought she wanted to mess around. I guess I said the wrong things. She looked pissed. Can never understand him. Tell me about it. Mia started keeping her distance from Lucas. She felt disgusted and rejected by him at the same time. She bumped into George a few days later outside her work and they started going on dates. George was a sweet engineer and was very kind with Mia. He was in awe of Mia and treated her well. <laughs> I'm so glad we bumped into each other again. These past two months have been amazing. Me too. Being around you is amazing. You're just so sweet. Like remembering every little thing about me, the ice caramel lattes and the, the Hooba Stink songs every time I get into a car, it's just so romantic. It's very old school. I love it. You deserve the best. Sorry. Hello? Hello. Is this Mia Brown? Uh, this is she. Who is this? Hi, my name is Olivia. I'm trying to reach Lucas Jones. Oh, um... Olivia, I, he's not with me. Um, how'd you get this number? This is an emergency. I called Lucas's phone and then his office to try to reach him. I was given your number. Yeah, I'm actually not sure where he is. It's lunch break, so maybe he's out? He was trying to reach me when I was busy, and my assistant told me it sounded urgent. He also missed his appointment at 12. Appointment? Yes, I'm his oncologist, and it's not usual for him to miss an appointment. Oncologist? I'm sorry. I know he didn't want his work to know, but please tell him to contact me as soon as you see him. Yeah, okay, I will. Bye. Bye. Oncologist. Oh, it was Olivia? You know her? Sorry. Yeah, he's mentioned her. I thought Olivia was his girlfriend. Um. What do you know that I don't? He made me promise not to say anything. George, you're my boyfriend and he's my employee and I'm getting this call. I have a right to know what's going on. Look, Mia, I don't know why Lucas didn't want you to know. And it, this may come as a shock. Just tell me. Lucas has locally advanced cancer, also known as stage three. What? Yeah, I guess he might have wanted to keep his job, so he didn't tell you? I can't believe this. Yes, he said it spread to his surrounding tissues, but him and his doctor are trying new drugs and immunotherapies. How could he keep this all from me? I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. There is one more thing. What? Well, our meeting wasn't a random coincidence. What do you mean? Lucas told me you'd be there. He said to come there and bump into you. Why? Well, he told me <laughs> you're quite hard on him at work and uh, he thought maybe you needed a boyfriend. The nerve of that guy. I am like the nicest boss. Hey, come on. The poor guy has cancer. I just, I just can't believe this. I know. I'm sorry. I want our relationship to be as authentic as possible and to be honest with you. That's what I want too. I, I want this to be real. Well, even the things I remembered about you, the white roses I got, the Ferrero Rocher, even the Hooba Stink salad, everything. It's Lucas who told me about it to impress you. He did? I'm just, I'm just so shocked. I'm sorry. I should have told you, but I was nervous. I just wanted you to like me and to show you I cared. Look, right now I'm just concerned because his oncologist is calling him and I don't know where he is and I owe it to him to find him. I'll come along. No, I'm, I'm gonna go alone. I need space, but um, I need to help him before I get that. Okay, whatever you want, sweetie. 
I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Bye. Open up. Open up, Lucas. Are you? What happened to you? No, nothing. I just had a little too much to drink last night. Enough with the ice, Lucas. Are you okay? You need a doctor. Let's go. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fine. Just, just leave me be. Just need some medicine and I'll take care of it. Okay. I'll get it for you. It's in the bathroom on the right. Okay. First drawer. Sorry for missing work. Yeah, this isn't about work. I know why you miss work sometimes. What? I know everything. What do you What do you mean? About cancer. How do you know? You need a doctor. Like, right now. Let's go. I don't need a doctor right now, Mia, please. It's just some rest. Okay. How do you find out? Well, Olivia called. Olivia? Well, you know? Yeah, and then George filled me in on the rest. Suddenly, everyone's against me. No, no one is against you. Everyone is your friend. And me, I'm on your side. I always have been. I just didn't want you to find out. Why? Because I would have wanted to be there. Yes, you're too nice, Mia. I just didn't want you to be a part of this. That's a decision that I should have been allowed to make. I did it for you. No, you did it to make you feel better. I wanted to be with you. I still want to be with you. No, you can't. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. Knowing my favorite drink, knowing everything about me, I, you need me just as much as I need you. You have George. I couldn't ever feel about anyone the way that I feel about you. No, Mia. I don't deserve to have you in my life. Not in a way I like. You already have me. I, I feel it deep in my heart. I couldn't say I didn't even understand it, but I love you. I love everything about you. Mia, loving me will only hurt you more. Loving you the way that I want to will set me free. I want to spend every day with you. You're the most incredible person I've ever met. Mia, I love you too. I knew what I felt wasn't a lie. I was heartbroken when I forget all that. Mia, I loved you ever since you hit me with that pack. <laughs> and then you, and then you apologized to me so sweetly. I'm giving up on my life when I found out about my illness, but being around you made me want to feel better. I worked and I tried, and I really tried doing everything the doctor said, but he said it's not getting any better. I thought maybe if I did, I'd be a part of your life, but I don't see it happening, and I just want to see you happy and be good enough. Because being with you here now is what makes me happy. We'll get through this together. We'll do whatever it takes to make it work. If it doesn't work, then at least I know that I spent every moment I could with you by your side. I love you. Thank you for being here. Well, Just go to sleep now, Lucas. Just rest. We'll get the best medical care when you wake up. Mia explained the situation to George and he understood Mia's love for Lucas. Mia and Lucas got married and she supported him through his medical care. With her encouragement and love, Lucas got better and lived for 15 more years, which was a rare medical exception. Mia and Lucas had a son and a daughter. During those 15 years, despite Lucas's failing condition towards the end, they made the best memories of their lives. They loved each other with every fiber in their bodies, and their children were witnesses of that love. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance.